Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a sinking fund spreadsheet that is going to help you track all of your savings goals in one spreadsheet. Here is an example of what the sinking fund spreadsheet is going to look like when you're all done with it. You're going to be able to see how much you have saved for each individual sinking fund goal, like your emergency fund or vacation, but also your total amount in your savings. Let's open up a blank spreadsheet. You can make your sinking fund spreadsheet either in Google Sheets or you can make it in Excel. It's going to work exactly the same. I just happen to use Google Sheets. I'm going to name it sinking fund spreadsheet. I'm going to start in column B here, and we're going to type in our, this is where you're going to start typing your goals across this first row. I'm going to type in emergency fund for the first one, and you can make these whatever your sinking fund goals are. If you want to take a minute to pause this video, write down your sinking fund goals, or just write goal one, goal two, goal three on here. I'm just going to make up some goals. Some of these are ones we do. Ooh, we, a great one to do is a Christmas or holiday shopping sinking fund. So you're adding a little bit of money to that every single month. So that when you get to the holidays, you just have money there. I'm just going to stop right there with these five. And we can always do some formatting for things. So if you're not a big spreadsheet person, don't know how to do a lot of the formatting, you can kind of watch how I do it in this video. All right, um, one thing that I am going to do here then is I'm going to freeze the first row. So this means that no matter how far down I go, I am always going to have this first row here. I'm also going to freeze the first column. What that does, it means that I can scroll down and down and down and it's still right there. All right, in column A in cell A2, we're going to put our starting balance or starting amount for each of these goals. And so say right now I already have $1,000 in my sinking fund for emergency fund. I have $500 to save for a new car, 500 for vacation, $0 for Christmas, and $2,000 save for a new house. All right, and again, formatting, we want all of these to be currency. So if we just kind of highlight the whole thing, change it to currency, we'll have those all set up as currency. On my sinking fund tracker, on the far right hand side, I have a total added or subtracted for the month. Because sometimes you use your sinking fund. You go on vacation, you buy a new house or a new car, or you need to use your emergency fund, so you're going to deduct some of that money. So total added or subtracted for the month can go there. And again, I like to format it so it's the width of the cell. And now we're going to put in our dates. You can put in starting January 2023, um, or really whatever year it, time it is for you. And so you take a minute to kind of go through and type in all these dates. We are now we're going to start entering in some formulas. So I'm going to get this total added and subtracted on the right hand side. And the, if you've never used formulas, they're actually really easy to use and very handy. So every formula is going to start with an equal sign. And I love Google Sheets. It's suggesting a formula for me, which is the exact formula I want to use. I want to add these totals across. So this is how much I'm going to add for each month. I'm going to add them across and it's going to do this for me. So I'm just going to click that and if you can see, if I added $100 here, it's going to add that automatically for me, which is exactly what I want. And then you can do this really cool thing is if I take this little blue square, I can drag it down, and that will apply that same formula for all of these rows. So it's perfect. I can enter 100, enter 100 here, and it's going to put it there. All right, next up, I need totals at the bottom. So I'm going to do the same formula, and it is going to do this for me. Otherwise, I'll just do it the old fashioned way. I'll enter sum, a left parenthesis, and then you can just click and drag those, and then a right parenthesis. So it is going to then calculate and add up the total of every single month of the year. I'm going to do the same thing. I suppose you can do that here as well. So now I have a total as I am transferring money into my savings account and earmarking it for each one of these sinking fund goals. It will automatically calculate on this spreadsheet. So no matter how much money I have in my savings, I always know how much I have saved for each individual sinking fund. And I think that is really important as you're starting to work towards and achieve some of your financial goals. All right, and then the last thing, or one of the last things we really need to do is total in savings. So this is going to add up all of our sinking funds so we get a total in our savings account and for the most part minus some interest that could get added to your savings account the number in this cell should be a really close match to the number in your actual savings account so i'm going to hit equals i'm going to do sum a parenthesis and then i'm going to add up those i'm going to click and drag over them 
And so now I should be able to have a very simple setup sinking fund tracker as I'm starting to transfer money into my savings for each of these sinking goals, fund goals. Um, you can see that it adds those down here and then it's going to add up the total of all of my sinking funds into one total amount. So this is a already a functional sinking fund spreadsheet. It will track all of your savings, all of your sinking funds as you transfer money and you can make it as neat and formatted as you want. But at the bare minimum, that is what I would suggest getting set up right now today. And then you can add in all those colors and things later um, by using like the little paint jar up here to um, add colors. And if you stuck with me making your sinking fund spreadsheet here, you might want to jump over to the next video, which is making a 50, 30, 20 budget in Google Sheets as well. Again, same principles apply for making a budget in Excel as they do in Google Sheets. And you can click on over to that video. 